Hello, Pony Fest, and welcome to Long Live Tumblr Pond. This is a panel where we kind of take a look back at Tumblr Pond and some of the great blogs and the great characters and the great people that have come from the community. This is a panel that we've done at numerous conventions, uh, BronyCon, Cider Fest, just to name a couple. Uh, but with everyone doing the online convention thing, we decided that we wanted to try this for Pony Fest and kind of show this to a new audience as well. Uh, I am the host for this panel, uh, Pirate Dash. I ran the blogs Ask Pirate Dash and Ask Mike Boom. And today I'm joined with by a few of my good friends here, uh, fellow Tumblr Pond pones. Uh, we'd love if you guys would go ahead and uh, introduce yourselves. Um, uh, do I go first? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, someone. <laughs> This is new. <laughs> go ahead, Chris. <laughs> okay, I'll go. Um, so I'm uh, Chris Demanster. I run uh, Out of Work Derpy. Um, I've been doing it since 2013. Uh, should I just go through a whole big spiel? or uh, If you want, go ahead. Okay, it's, uh, it's a comic about uh, Derpy after the Derpy Gate fiasco back uh, from season two where uh, she got kicked off the show. Um, because of the big controversy, and she's been trying to get her job back uh, ever since, and hijinks ensue. Um, uh, go ahead, Wiggles. Yeah. Hey, I'm Wiggles. Uh, I ran Ask King Sombra, which ended in 2016, I think. Um, and it was about <laughs> King Sombra, the literal millisecond he was introduced. I started a blog, um, and it ran for four years and got a lot of followers. And it's a good time. Go ahead, Tam. Okay. Uh, I'm Tam Blon. I ran Ask Opalescent Pearl, which was my main blog, but I have a few others like Ask Trouble. I recently snagged Ask Sombra because I was going to do my own Sombra blog. Probably still will because he's funny. And But I mainly am just around doing pony stuff. All right, and we were supposed to be joined by one more person, uh, Fisher Pond, who is kind of the curator of all these blogs, but we're not sure where he's at right now. So we'll just go ahead without him and <laughs> move on with the show. So um, I guess the first thing we wanted to talk about for people that may not know is what is Tumblr Bond? Um, how would you guys define it? Uh, for me, Tumblr Pond was, you know, it was like, a, you know, a place where people can go kind of to do comics and just, you know, communicate with the uh, community more. Like, you know, that's why our ass blogs were so prevalent and stuff like that. You know, we were able to uh, do art, you know, uh, engage in uh, MLP and stuff and the whole fandom. And, you know, there's a way, you know, to answer questions and to converse and have collabs and it was just you know a way to connect with everybody you know in an artistic way mm -hmm. it was a good creative output uh, really yeah, go ahead. format um like the whole ask back and forth that you can interact with uh your followers that way you can interact with your blogs uh it's something that i didn't really see on any other platforms i think that's what made tom really unique that, that was one of the great things about Tumblr is um, the way you can interact with people. You can uh, have some thread chains going. You can send questions as many times as you want. And people were always open to interacting and creating these stories with these characters. And basically, sometimes it also felt like a collaborative effort and something that everyone benefited from. Mm -hmm. So... I'll go down the line for this next question here. You guys talked about your blogs. Um, I'll start with Wiggles. What led you to kind of starting your blog? What What was your inspiration? Uh, for me, I hadn't been drawing a lot, uh, and I wanted a reason to have to draw more. Uh, and I was really into ponies, and I like drawing ponies. So I thought, ooh, I'm going to start a blog. One of these ass blogs. This looks fun, but everyone has all the good characters already. I don't want to do an OC, so hmm. And then, like, two days later, they were like, the new villain for this season is someone called King Umber. 
I was like, oh, I'll do a blog about him. And then they're like, oh, sorry, no, it's Sombra. I'm like, oh, I'll do a blog about him. Um, but I gave myself a schedule so that I would always update three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, and that really got me to drawing. <laughs> Four that, years. that was uh... – I wanted to point that out for just a moment. You were really dedicated to updating and um, keeping your blog on a consistent schedule. What 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 kept that motivation going for you? Anxiety. Oh, there's music. What does that mean? Cool. No, uh, I think Fish is trying to get in, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, wow. don't, I think he's using the wrong platform if he can hear us. Um, oh, no. And, um, Chris, uh, tell us about how, what led you to starting your blog because you took a situation that kind of got the phantom in an uproar and it turned it into a very creative and entertaining idea. Yeah, well, when I was first starting, I hadn't drawn in a long time, and I, I was seeing everyone having so much fun with the Tumblr Pawn stuff, I wanted to get on to it. I originally started planning out something like a bad, like an evil Apple Bloom blog. And it just, I wasn't feeling it like as soon as I started it. So I kind of, uh, you know, kicked it around for a while. And then, uh, you know, during that big controversy, it's, and then season three started and then just Derpy's just gone. Now I'm just started thinking like, man, it's like Derpy got fired from the show. And once I thought about that, I'm like, you know, what? that's an awesome idea for, for a Tumblr pawn and you know, the rest is kind of history. You know, <laughs> I started off with her getting fired and after that, she's just trying to look for jobs and you know, the rest is kind of history. What about you, Tam? Oh, uh, well, before Tumblr, I was doing ask accounts over on DeviantArt and I had several and I remember seeing like ask accounts for other fandoms over on Tumblr. I was like, hey, that'd be cool. So I made one for a Homestuck character that was a pony. I pretty much ponified them, like I do. And after that, I was like, hey, I could probably do a Ask a blog for my Crystal Pony OC, which I did. Cool, cool. Um, I guess I should tell my story, too, because I, I guess I'm a panelist as well. Is, it, is that right? <laughs> um Basically, the idea for Pirate Dash, I started Mike Boom first, and the blog didn't really take off as well I was, as I was hoping, and just kind of languishing there for a bit. And then in a DeviantArt group, there was a prompt to draw Pirates versus Ninjas, so I decided that I was going to draw Rainbow Dash as a, as a pirate, and... I kind of liked the idea, so I drew a few more pictures with of her with it, and figured, okay, this might be a good idea for an ask blog. So, started the ask blog, um, got a lot more reception with it, and I guess you could say the rest is history. <laughs> um, so we talked about our blogs. What I'm going to ask you guys now is, what are some of your favorite blogs that? Uh, you've watched over the years and what would you say are some of the blogs that kind of defined what the Tumblr Pond community is? Um, one of the things that uh, really did it for me is like when I first joined, one of the reasons why I wanted to do like I said, an evil Apple Bloom blog is like there's a lot of cool blogs like uh, Hot Blooded Pinkie Pie and Flutter Guy. And I'm like, man, there needs to be some like evil like bad guys. So that's what made me start thinking about it. And then, of course, like right around when I was getting in is right when they were getting out. <laughs> but, uh, you know, there was just a lot of good ones. Those are the two that jump out at me, though, immediately. Uh, Anyone else? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, one of my favorites was Disorderly Conduct. That was a good one. <laughs> yes. A good one. That was a good one as well. Um, I, I feel I would be remiss if I didn't mention this one because – she was kind of a rival to Pirate Dash, but uh, Ask Pun was one that <laughs> it that's a, that was another one that had a pretty dedicated schedule. And knowing knowing how it happened, um, it, it, it was crazy to see just how often it would update, how often it would post, but it would have some good consistency with it. And it was just one of those characters that stuck around and. Uh, 
it's pretty memorable for people. Uh, anyone have any others that before I say some of the obvious ones? <laughs> yeah, the chat is screaming like a lot of really good ones. That <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you want to participate, uh, it's bitrate stage. If you're in the Ponyfest Discord, uh, bitrate stage, if you want to join in the memories with us here. Uh, we would be remiss, and I don't want Chaco yelling at me this time for forgetting this one, but uh, My Little Chubbies, that, that was one of those defining ones. Yeah. Um, that, that was, I think, one of the first big name blogs that everyone just jumped on and that everyone wanted to be a part of in a way. Uh, and it was an adorable art style and a unique take on some characters. So. And then I would be remiss if I didn't say Ask King Sombra was another one of them. That's an obvious one, though. Because <laughs> we love our wiggles. So, we've talked about some of our favorite blogs, some of the blogs that we feel have defined the community, and we're seeing a lot in the chat as well. Um, another question I wanted to ask you guys, what, what do you feel, or what did you feel made the Tumblr Pond community so unique and special that it was unique and special to be part of. Uh, I think just the kindness that everyone had, everyone was really nice to each other. Um, I remember when my cat got sick, I had a fundraiser and I raised like $2,000 just from followers donating for my cat. Hi Fisher. That really hey. a lot. Hey, for sure. Sorry, my alarm did not go off. <laughs> I've been there. That's a so, mood. So, sorry about that, Wiggles. Um, let, let's get introduced to Fisher here. Go ahead, tell us um, uh, your role in the Tumblr com Pond community and why you're late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I used to follow pretty much every draw blog there was and promote their stuff. I was never much of an artist myself. Um, but I kind of burnt out a few years ago, so now I just block a whole lot of pony art. And I'm late because my alarm clock did not decide to cooperate. So, my bad. Congrats. <laughs> um, so, let me ask you something specifically, Fisher. Um, your role in the community was not one of an artist or a writer or anything like that. You were the one that kind of was the gateway to showing people what some of these great blogs were like. Um, tell us what motivated you to want to do that. Well, I wanted to help out, but I didn't have art skills at all. So I sort of just did what I could. And also, like, I quickly found out that through doing what I did, I made a lot of friends like you guys. So just by keeping doing that, I kept making more friends, and that eventually culminated in the block party. So, uh, since you missed some of these questions as well, what, what were some of your favorite blogs? What are some of the blogs that stood out for you? Um, well, do you mind if I be a total weeb for a second? Sure. <laughs> there was uh, one blog that I found that was a crossover between Applejack and uh, Full Metal Alchemist. So oh, my like God. <laughs> and the art style was gorgeous. And I, like, I only did three posts before dying. If it had continued on, that would have been brilliant. Okay. Yeah, any other blogs that come to mind? We're, we're seeing a lot in the chat as well. Um, people are mentioning Flufflepuff as well. That that obviously. Another one that was a bit of a personal favorite, though, was a bit on more on the grimdark side, was um, forget exactly what the URL was, but it was no Researcher Twilight. That's it. Ask Researcher Twilight. So it was a uh, it was a grimdark one, except that the art style was very very unique. Uh, do we have like a Discord chat or something? Like, I know we have our personal one. I can try and post. Oh, uh, we're in a. There, there is a Discord chat for it. It's in the bitrate stage under the Ponyfest Discord. Yeah, let, let me let me uh, forward, uh, let me go to my phone and I can toss a, a picture in there. Okay, so while well, Fisher oh, there um, okay. wakes up, um, I'm awake. Gosh, <laughs> how? What made the community unique and special for you as well? Dramatic pause. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, for Fisher. Uh, okay. I didn't hear the question. 
kind of social media because any other kind of social media is competently programmed. So Tumblr's little quirks sort of made the made the community develop in the way it did. Yeah. Uh, did you guys find it was like easier to interact with people there than any other platform? Because I know, uh, Tam, you mentioned DeviantArt as your first place you went to for it. Yeah, that was something else because there was no anons or anything. So everybody was just out there. What What were you guys? So that that's another good point. So on Tumblr, you could ask questions anonymously and – Sometimes it was good. Sometimes it was bad. How do you guys feel about anonymous questions? I like them. You know, can't necessarily use every single one of them, but you know, sometimes they uh, they they ask the questions that are a little bit harder to to ask with the face. I guess I don't know. <laughs> yeah, kind of gave an outlet for people who didn't have a Tumblr blog or just didn't want to link their blog for some reason. Okay. So, uh, next question I want to ask everybody. Uh, so, how, in the years that you've been on Tumblr Pond, in the community, doing your ass blogs, how, how do you feel you benefited and grew from it? From your first day to what you are now? Oh, I think the positive reinforcement was a huge thing, you know. It's one thing we're just drawing on your own, but, like, when you got people who enjoy your art, it just makes you want to draw more and more and more. I kind of feel the same way because on some other sites, I really didn't get too many followers. Um, it took me, I'll say this, I hit 500 watchers on my DeviantArt recently, and it took me nearly 18 years to get there. But on Tumblr, I hit 500 followers on Pirate Dash in like a month or so. Mm -hmm. And seeing that many people interested in your project and interacting with it, it was a huge motivation tool. And when you have that motivation, it makes you want to draw more. It makes you want to update more. And when you do more of it, it helps you grow and improve as an artist and even in a writer in some cases. For sure. That's like, I would post a post and then I'd just watch all the likes and reblogs and comments come in. It's like dopamine. Dopamine! <laughs> <laughs> I think we all felt that way. Yeah. Um, so, with your unique perspective, Fisher, how do you feel you benefited and grew from it uh, being in the Tumblr Pond community? Well, I mean, like, if I didn't, if I wasn't in the Tumblr Pond community, I would, would have like two friends. And I've got like 200. So uh, that would be the main way. But it also like, like when traveling out for the conventions and stuff, uh, those are trips that I wouldn't have done if I wasn't to see you guys. Also, I got a, uh, a good picture from Researcher Twilight. So I'm about to slap that in the chat. So it took oh me boy. A bit that wasn't completely gory. Yeah, that's, that's another thing I'll add to that. Um, being in Tumblr Pond, it's taken me to places that. I never thought I would go and it's helped me do things that I never thought was possible. Um, I never thought I'd be a community guest for a convention, but with the help of pirate dash and how generous Tricon is um, it paved the way for that to happen. And those are always some great and fun experiences. Um, I've been to cities that I never thought I'd visit across the country. Like before I got into the community, I only ever visited like, chicago and st louis and never really ventured out there but i've been to baltimore columbus minneapolis milwaukee just so many places across the country and without the pony fandom i don't think that would have been possible and being in this community i've made so many friends um some have come and gone over the years but i still have a core group of friends that i feel are like a second family to me um I said this after, or I think it was during the Tumblr Pond panel one year at BronyCon, like, Fisher's like a brother to me. Tam is like a sister to me. Wiggles is like my crazy cousin. Chris is a... He's everybody's crazy cousin. Half-brother. But <laughs> without that, I would not have had people that I would love and respect like that. And it's been a great experience to have all you guys in my life so without tumblr pond none of that would have been possible mm -hmm. 
So, um, anyone else have any other thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, like friendship is magic. Um, I'm barely on Tumblr that much anymore, but it warms my heart that whenever I do pop in and just like, hey, what's up? People are still like, hey, hi, hello, my God, it's been like four years. <laughs> you still like me. <laughs> so, so I know we've talked about Tumblr <laughs> pawn in kind of a past sense in this panel. Um, Part of that is because the fandom isn't what it used to be. Tumblr most certainly is not what it used to be, thanks to all the changes they've been through. So I want to pose this question to you guys. Could a revival of Tumblr Pond happen? Like I know there's still some blogs that are still up. They, uh, Chris is uh, I think it only blogs an example. But yeah, do you feel like maybe it doesn't get back to the heyday that it was, but do you feel like it could come back stronger someday i think it already is mm, i yeah, guess I, maybe I, once uh generation five comes out and it becomes, if it becomes a big hit I, I think i think it might be able to become stronger than it is now and it might be like a revival but i don't know if it'll ever get to the level it was at its peak if that makes sense unless something crazy happens <laughs> and it's Gen five could take off. Older, you know it's whoever you interact with that's how much you put in is how much you get out. So for me, who isn't very active in Tumblr Pond anymore, I'm like, uh, nothing's happening because I'm not following any of the new blogs that are updating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you're not in there, you don't have that perspective. You're kind of stuck in your glory days. When well, I know, you know, I've been pretty active, you know, for a while. And I kind of noticed after the quote unquote Tumblr purge, like almost half of the engagement kind of went away. Give or take. Yeah, but there are still a lot of new blogs that are popping up. Like, there's that Tumblr mm -hmm. Discord server, and hell, that one's bigger than mine. What? So, if you kind of still have an eye on it, Fisher, what would you say some of the blogs that are kind of new, kind of still active, what, what are some of the more notable ones that you've noticed? Um. Well, <laughs> there are a lot of new blogs, but none of them have really super distinguished themselves yet. And as far as I can remember, the only one that comes to mind is Albino Pie. That one popped up recently. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah, Albino Pie. Okay. Do you feel like maybe... I'll just, just go to the Tumblr server and uh, see if any names stand out to me. But go on, you were saying? So if a revival could happen, do you think it has to be on Tumblr? Or could it transition to another site? Could it be Twitter Pawn or maybe some other social media site, or do you feel it's got to be on Tumblr? Well, it is half of the name, isn't it? <laughs> I, well, and, yeah. I, and I imagine there's already established communities over on those other social media sites. Yeah, I think Tumblr Pond just is Tumblr Pond. Yeah. Yeah. Like you can't really you're... replace the ask niche that it comes with. It. That's very yeah. hard to do. Uh, fact Mod Pie, that's another good one. Okay. All right. Um, so I've kind of gotten through all the questions that I've um, prepared for everyone. So what I would like to do for the rest of the panel is if you're in bitrate stage in the Discord server, uh, if you've got any questions for us, go ahead and ask us in there, and we'll try and answer um, as best as we can. Uh, we got one already. Uh, Chris forwarded this to us oh, yeah. uh, from our friend Ghostly Muse, uh, who I saw on the server. So, hi, Ghostly. Um, Ghostly. She says, watching you guys from Ohio, you're doing great. How do you think your characters would be doing during the corona craziness? <laughs> That's going to be a good one. I have no idea. <laughs> I think uh, I think Derpy would be overprotective of Dinky, but at the same time getting arrested for breaking quarantine trying to work. <laughs> she could just have unemployment and just get all those benefits. I I'm what sure there'd be a way for that not to happen. Well, if, if Derpy <laughs> went on unemployment, I don't think the blog would exist that well. Well, Derpy that got a, a billion bits once, and I ended the blog for April Fool's Day. <laughs> they had uh, before. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's another thing I kind of miss about the Tumblr Pond community. Like the April Fool's Day swaps were so much fun. <laughs> so, uh, I, mean, I think, yeah, go ahead. 
like with, with all the new Tumblr folk around, I you could still do that. You just yeah. have to make some friends. <laughs> And also in the chat, uh, Chad pointed out, ask student six and adorable for Twilight and friends. And yeah, those two are both really good as well. Talk yeah, I love ask student six. Heck yeah. Give me uh, those cuties. I guess I, I guess to answer Ghostly's question on PD's end, she would probably find a way to um, hoard toilet paper and hold it <laughs> on her ship. And Yeah. But she, she'd find a way to steal a bunch of it, and then Bookworm would question why she's a part of this shenanigans. <laughs> no, and all, all jokes aside, if if Tumblr Bone is as active as it was, I could imagine a big community deal going over that. Uh, a big giant uh, pirate dash deal, everyone's toilet paper, and they're being some sort of big God. pirate war. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but uh, none of that would matter because the world would end because Wiggles would get quarantine crazy. Oh hell would break loose. I could I could see Wiggles updating daily under the quarantine. I thought about that. It's like I still do have to work full time, but like if I did it, oh boy. <laughs> I'd bring King's armor back and be like, surprise, I'm back. Ah. What uh, about equestrian uh, posts? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> or am I beating uh, a dead horse? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Uh, I'm looking through for some more questions. Um, well, while you're doing that, let me answer Grizzly's question. Yeah. <laughs> so, Sombra so would not be observing any social distancing. He would not be wearing a mask. He would be going outside, and it would just be Coffee Talk chasing him around, and like, "Put a mask on. Get away from people." And he'd be like, "I'm not sick. It's fine." No, no, stop. Yeah, I, I can't. I. I'm surprised she didn't have gray hair by the end of that blog. <laughs> and streak, it's just gray. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Drop Trap kind of summed things up nicely there that uh, we're just the old folks now, it belongs to a new generation. And yeah. uh, we could have had some of the new generation in here, but you didn't want to go headhunting in the server. Well, I got things to do. Let me. So I'll ask. I'll ask a question while we try to wait for some. Were there any ideas for your ask blogs that you wanted to do but never got a chance to do? Actually, finishing it. Besides that, <laughs> funny, but I'm having trouble remembering what any of them are. Give me a minute. Yeah, I'm trying to think too if I had any plans that never happened. I, I definitely had plans that I just wanted to do, but not. I'm trying to think of any asks that brought up any ideas I wanted to do. Half of mine is ideas I never got done and ask blog ideas that I never got to do. Like I had one ask blog idea. And if anyone wants to do this, have at. Um, Rarity and Fancy Pants were a married couple, but they were living in a trailer park. That was an idea. And then I, I kind of had this idea for PD where, like, it would have gotten serious, which would have gone completely against the blog itself because it was meant to be more silly than that. But basically, under attack, and PD is on her deathbed, and Bookworm has to go round up the different elements of Harmony to try and bring her back to life and it would have involved a bunch of different ass blogs so that could have you mean fun. you wouldn't have just had her kiss her back to life no no that's fulfill your shipping fantasies that's later on um here's a question um is there anyone you wanted to collab who you couldn't get to this one from earth's new oh. is there any ass blog you wanted to collab with who you didn't get a chance to uh, not, not so much collab, but like right when I was getting, like a little bit after I got in or before I got in, I mean, um, there was a bunch of cool like events that you guys uh, would do. Like there was the one where I think uh, Pirate Dash called someone Yellow Belly or something and all the yellow oh, ponies went nuts and like God. stuff like that. Like when I joined in, it seemed like that kind of slowed down. So I didn't really get to be in any. The closest thing was the Pirate Dash shipping contest thing. Uh, oh, that one. Yeah. But uh, and even then, I know there was some weird stuff that kind of went on with that. But uh, are we allowed to talk about Misty's hoodie? I saw someone get banned for swearing. Um, 
Wait, let's just got... men- let's just mention that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I will say the yellow belly arc was probably my f- most favorite um, event on Tumblr because it just it gathered so many blogs together and it spun off into so many different directions. Like I went. PD's story went three different ways and I tried to update all three of them but it just got way too crazy and I just had to pick one and go with it and god I miss interactions like that mm-hmm. um, and then there was uh, the chubby rainbow dash and the psalm boom and all those big sorts of things oh, I'm, yeah, the... I literally did the chubby rainbow dash like four or five years after it was popular like, <laughs> I don't still did right? Mm-hmm. So, you mentioned Somboom as well. Um, tell us about Somboom, Wiggles. Uh, tell us about <laughs> how that happened and what it meant to you, because that was a pretty major event. <laughs> so that was right towards like the climax ending of Asking Sombra, and one of the updates had this big beam of light when spoiler alert, Sombra gets exploded. Um, so a big beam of light shot up and I had like a uh, panel where all the characters that were important in the story could you know, see this light from wherever they were. Um, and then people started drawing their horses, you know, seeing that light and their reaction to it. And it just spread everywhere. I think by the end of it, there was like 300 people who drew, you know, their OCs or their ask blogs reacting to the psalm boom um and it was just you know my made cry because it was just such a nice little like hey we like you but that it, ended- it felt like a proper send-off yeah for sure uh, not not to take away from how uh a little to be a little silly about this actually um i remember at BronyCon that year it was right that happened right before your blog ended and i remember you were like when you were sketching in people's books all you did that weekend was like sketching somber saying i'm dead <laughs> yep Still and, then got, <laughs> and then i got her good at the tumblr fun panel yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See, let, let, let me find the video and i'll link it in the chat but you got a whole bunch of <laughs> Yeah, we got more questions. If uh, from Starlight Fuff Princess, uh, I was wondering when Fuff was going to come up. If you could bring <laughs> one dead Tumblr pawn blog back from the dead, which one would it be? Discorderly conduct. Mm. I, yeah, think I, I had so many that I were fo- was following, and they had really good stories that I was invested in. Yeah. And then oh, they dang! Like, banana oh, pie's in the chat. <laughs> it's banana pie. Is he banana pie? Oh boy! <laughs> Give you banana. Uh, I don't know which dead blog I would bring back. All the ones that didn't finish their stories come back. I would miss it. What about Speedy's blog? Can I bring that one back? <laughs> I, I vote for Speedy. <laughs> Speedy. Uh, Ooh, all right. Uh, another one from Ghostly. If you had to do some silly trope for some bonus update thing, which trope would you use? Like a beach episode, body swap, getting shrunk. Uh, what episode trope would you use? Oh, that's a good one. It's a little hard when you do a story-driven blog. Don't want to make it too out of character. What was the question again? If you had to do a silly trope for a bonus update, which trope would you use? See, I, I couldn't do beach episode for Pirate Dash because she's at a beach all the time, in a way. Um, Her life is a beach episode. Yeah. <laughs> I actually did a body swap for an update once, so I, I would go for that, pretty much. Yeah, I think body swap would be fun. Yeah. Or do a clip show. <laughs> God. Body swap would be fun. Remember when... <laughs> But it's all clips from things that, like, you haven't actually drawn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember this update? It never actually happened. Clip show. <laughs> uh, from 20, was Tumblrpawn a sort of launching pad to your artistic talents getting more recognized in a general sense? Absolutely. For Pony, yeah, definitely. I think we all kind of started on Tumblrpawn. Pretty much. Yeah. Is that yeah. fair to say? 
Yeah, I've been drawing for a long time before that, but it was my first real foray into like the internet and yeah. you know, trying to get it known. It was something for me to do in college, and now I'm not in college. I miss college. <laughs> I do uh, too. Good times. <laughs> From CMC Scootaloo, which Tumblr pony ass blogs do you know that are still active? Uh, well, Chris is for one. And do you mm-hmm. think a new Tumblr pony ass blog can still become popular today? I think it can, but you got to understand, I don't think it's going to get to the point where it was, you know, in the heyday, mainly because just Tumblr yeah. just doesn't have the same kind of following Tracking. as it used to. Traction. And neither does the neither does the show. You know, it just you know the we're past the we're way past the curve. I think it all depends on what you define as popular in this sense, because I unless you're you've got a really great art style and you update constantly, I think the days of a blog getting like fifteen to twenty thousand followers is gone. I th- think it just depends on what you define popularity as and if how you want to go about it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, from serious rainbow, another blog that's still active. Uh, how much fun would you say you've had doing the blogs? (laughs) What is the unit unit of fun? Yeah. (laughs) What are we defining as fun? Is it pinkies? I, mean, I think it was my best years on the internet. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not even really on the internet that much anymore because I feel like that was my heyday. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have, I had fun updating the blog, just coming up with puns and what crazy inner things that PD can do each time, and just getting the chance to interact with people. Uh, I was still doing it as recently as a few years ago, but. It, it's it's just so much fun every time you get a chance to do something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, scroll up and find this question from Drap Tap. How does it feel to have become an influence on the new kids coming up? Are we? Am I? Or... Uh, there are new kids. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not a great influence. Kids. I don't need that on my shoulders. I'll, I'll put, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Somebody will take one of Pearl's kids and make an ass blog for them. No. <laughs> Those are how my many, babies. <laughs> how many kids did she have? Uh, she she had, had six in total. It was oh, a wow. lot. The chat seems to have devolved into a pile of fuffs, and I have no, no idea. No, guys. No. <laughs> I, I thought this was the one panel where we could avoid fuff, but apparently not. Um. I, I guess I'll, I'll answer the influence question. I, I don't, I don't feel like I'm a person that had a lot of influence. I would or feel like people would look up to Pirate Dash and what I would do. But I would always get people coming up to me at like conventions, like, "Oh my God, you're Pirate Dash! I I love your blog!" and getting stuff like that. And it was always a great feeling to be recognized for that. And it. I don't, it kind of – I don't want to say validates what you do, but I, I don't know if there's a better word for it to <laughs> that all the work you put into it, um, that someone appreciates it. And if it inspires them to do something, then that it really is a good feeling. I think I cried the first time I got recognized at a convention. Yes. <laughs> I, <felt good. laughs> I think that was the first Brody God. And maybe is- now, like, someone will message me and be like, hey. I, you know, it's been a couple years, but I really enjoyed your blog. And oh, they'll be like, I used to read it in middle school and now I'm in college. And I'm like, oh my God. You yeah, that's wrong way to make you feel <laughs> old. It is. But that still, you know, warms my heart every time. And if anyone ever has questions about like running a blog or needs to Oh, let's see. All right. Another question from uh, Ghostly. Do, 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 do. Care to share any notable questions you asked your blog yourself to bring focus to keep the story going or a plot point you wanted to explore? A wizard never reveals his secrets. Oh. No, <laughs> Basically, did what that. did you Sending ask Sending to yourself? That's unthinkable. I did that. But it was I did a it tactic. too. <laughs> I did it too. It's a joke. Oh. 
I can't remember specifically when. Yeah, I, I can't remember. Can't. No, I can't. I, I I think I did it once. I just don't remember for what. Yeah. Yeah. I we've all done it. We just don't remember what the um crime was. <laughs> uh I would be like, "Oh, I have a pay- do you have a Patreon?" <laughs> Well, no one would ask that on their own. <laughs> yeah. Well, I remember back in the day where, like, if you turned Anon on and off, it would generate a question for you when you turned it back on. So sometimes you would just, like, on, off, on, off, on, off. Oh, I have five questions now. So let's build with that. But that was back in the way early days of it. I think they took Tumblr out- bot. Yeah, Tumblr bot. <laughs> Gotta love Tumblr bot. you like oh, robots sure. or dinosaurs. Oh, uh, okay. Another question from Dap or Drap Tap. What's it like being a celebrity one weekend a year? Hmm. Weird. I don't know. Um, What's it like, like Blank Canvas? <laughs> <laughs> one part a year. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Like. I think sort of, I, you sort of go into an alternate reality when you go to the conventions, really. And that's why this year has been a bit of a bummer. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, like these, on, these online cons are fun, but it's not the same, you know? Especially for those of us who have been to so many cons that you just go there to hang out with friends now. Yeah, we had big plans for Winnie City. Like, we, I was... I was going to be a community guest there. I had a few panels I was going to do there and we were all going to hit top golf after the convention ended. And I was looking forward to it, but it's just it's not being able to take people there and just have fun. It's just, mm-hmm. it's been a bummer. Yeah. And me and TJ were supposed to do a big road trip around truck con. Yeah. I was going to bring Fisher here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Question. Next year. Um, I, I think it's really fun that once a year, you know, people recognize you, know who you are, and they talk to you, and are like, oh my God, you're so cool. And then for the rest of the year, you're like, I sit on my couch and I work at a terrible job, and no one knows who I am. So it's nice that once a week, you're like, ha, ah, a small <laughs> amount of horse fame. Woo! It's like that drug you mentioned earlier. <laughs> how I got all my socialization and it was like a socialization enough for one year. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> one year I did BronyCon and then the next weekend I did TrotCon and that was a terrible idea. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I, I remember that. I, Fisher and I, we did that too. <laughs> I'm yeah. a super introvert. Surprise. So by the end of it, I was like, teach, just go sit in the lobby. I need to sit alone for three hours. Don't, <laughs> look at me. Don't talk to me. And you're like, okay. Yeah, I, I believe that. <laughs> I um, need to be alone. All right, so we only got um, we got two minutes left. So anyone have any final thoughts? Um, it, it's been great catching up with everybody again and kind of sharing what this has been all about. So um, does anyone have any final thoughts? You guys make me want to go back and do like a small weekend quarantine revival. <laughs> Do it. Let's do it. Trotcon. Trotcon next year. Help Let's me do into it. it. I mean, even once all the pony cons die off, we can just agree to meet up somewhere. Just spend a weekend somewhere, you know? But yeah, like as far as Tumblepon goes, like, yeah, the purge kind of messed things up and it seems like, oh no, the community's boring. But that's what the brony existence has been for the past few years. It's like there's a small pebble on the road and everyone goes, oh, no! <laughs> so, there's a bunch of new blogs popping up. If you want to do a draw blog, hop in. Um, I can, I, I'm contemplating post a, posting a link to the Tumblr Pond server, but I would, like, have 500 people join them and they would probably get mad yeah. at me. Um, so, yeah, if you want to make a draw blog, hop on in, make some new friends. There's people, still people kicking around. Cool. Send me a link, I'll promote you. All right. All right. So we're getting the wrap up here. Um, so I want to thank everybody that tuned in, uh, helped us reminisce, helped us relive memories of Tumblr Pond for the past 45 minutes or so. Um, check out the blogs on Tumblr. Um, check out our socials. Um, 
and thank you guys so much. I want to thank Wiggles, Chris, Tam, and Fisher for joining me today. This was fun. It was great seeing you guys and hearing from you again. And I really wish we could hang out in person again soon. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everyone should stay safe, please. Yep, Stay safe. Enjoy the rest of the con, everybody. And everybody, everybody have some fuff. Have some <laughs> fuff. <laughs> What is that? I need an explanation. I will here. tell you after the <laughs> panel. <laughs> All right. So thank you for tuning in and hope you guys enjoy the rest of the convention. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Can we just stay in here until it's. Uh, keep okay. waving, guys. Just keep waving. Keep <laughs> waving. <laughs> Wave until we're kicked out. <laughs> oh, did DJ leave? No, I'm here. No.